So a little look at the short term rental headlines here and second homeowners set for £191 million windfall due to Omicron grants. Well, how, how great does that sound? We are set for £191 million of free money because of the Omicron grants. But like always, if we dig a little bit deeper here and see the actual facts, well, this is across England. So £191 million across every single holiday home and England. In England, so what do, what do we get? Because £191 million pounds and one fall sounds very, very positive. Um, but actually, most of these holiday homes are going to have rateable values under 15000 which means they get £2,600. Now, we've probably had between all the different things, a year of lockdowns and, and restrictions and Maybe that property, if it's less than fifteen thousand pounds rateable value, maybe makes between twenty and thirty thousand pounds a year. So they've definitely lost thirty grand, and they've got two thousand six hundred. So very, very misleading headlines again. Always an attack on our industry. So which is why I think it's important to to have a little look and read between the lines here. And if you've got a big, massive property with a rateable value of more than fifty one thousand, you'll receive. 4,000. Well, that's not a lot of money. And people said, yeah, well, you business owners, Scott, your business, you, you got all these grants for free, so you wouldn't have done too bad. Well, the, the numbers I think we've had in grants from the local authorities was like £11,000 and we lost a million pounds of income. So had we not been locked down, we would have made a million pounds more. Pillow would have had a million pounds more in revenue. But we wouldn't have had what eleven thousand pounds grant. So again, like always, reading between the lines, there there is a bit of a discrepancy. So interesting article, but basically, you're going to be given a few thousand pounds for for losing, you know, tens of thousands and perhaps hundreds of thousands of pounds across the board. So it definitely isn't a windfall. It's a tiny percentage of what these holiday home owners have lost. So uh, not in any way factual, it's actually a laughable joke story. But the, the biggest joke here, I think, is at the very, very end, Michael Gove, Secretary of State, said we will not stand for and allow people in privileged positions to abuse the system. You won't stand for people in privileged positions abusing the system unless you happen to be a politician or a politician's family member. But again, I would say if you had to poll people in the UK and say, what do you think the person in a privileged position abuses their position are? I think everybody would say, and they would word that differently, but I think everybody would say politicians. If there was one category of people who abuse their privileged positions, who would it be? Would it be holiday homeowners or would it be politicians? I think if you polled 10,000 people, nearly every single one of those 10,000 would say, well, it's going to be politicians that abuse their privileged positions. So I, I, I don't even think that that's a mistake. It, it, Michael Gove clearly laughing and saying that statement tongue in cheek uh, and somebody's printed that with, with no analysis underneath that. So um, I find that quite funny and the, the whole article's a, a laugh, but I think Michael Gove is, is having a, a little bit of a dig there while um, he probably abuses his privileged position in some way. I think that would be a guarantee.